Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to hit your slice properly once and for all, okay? And be sure, I'm gonna give you four to five tips. Be sure to stay tuned for tip number four because it's a, it's a very advanced tip, highly effective tip on the backhand slice that not many coaches talk about, okay? But let's get through the basics first, okay? Especially if you have a, a single-handed topspin backhand, be careful of your grip, okay? If you have an Eastern single backhand grip or if you have a semi, Western backhand grip and you try and slice with that grip You're gonna find yourself in trouble. It's very hard to slice with that grip. Please keep keep it on bevel number number one continental grip It's the only way you're gonna be able to slice that grip the, the, the ball you're gonna be able to knife it Okay, if you have the wrong grip you can't slice. Okay, moving on to tip, tip number two Please watch your your wrist. I see way too many players they, uh, their wrist is loose, so they're not able to slice the ball. So what happens is, let me grab one or two balls here. They try and slice it, but the wrist is breaking. So it goes down, or it just goes straight up. I mean, it doesn't work, okay? Your knuckles need to face up, and your wrist needs to be cocked up. And this is almost where it stays for the whole slice swing, okay? That's how you're gonna be able to knife it. It's gonna be like ice on, on, on tiles. Through the court it's going to shoot through the court which takes me to my third point uh, players are not turning enough so they have this in place but now they're not turning the shoulder so they open up like this once again what happens here is you're going straight under the ball ball goes up or down there's no there's no knife okay if you're not going to turn your shoulder properly you're never going to get enough slice okay you got to turn your shoulder so much so there's the grip there's the knuckles up so much where it almost feels like your right shoulder is leaning into the ball and it actually is leaning into the ball a little bit because this is allowing you to cut down into the ball okay so very very important the big turn the back of your shoulder almost almost needs to face forward because now you can knife and slice that ball okay so without a big big proper turn leaning into it, it's not going to work okay so now we, we're moving on to the advanced tip that no one talks about and uh, if you had to watch Roger Federer it will be crazy what you'll notice is on contact point his strings are actually facing square on so you say how does that work it slices underneath that's a problem a lot of players make they only focus on going underneath and then there's nothing on it it's a very weak slice if you watch Roger Federer he hits down onto it on contact point he looks like this then he goes down and then he knifes it down and I understand that this is very advanced your timing has to be perfect if you watch Federer slow motion or if you watch his slice very quick it looks like he's he's hitting down on that thing and that's how you knife it okay I always tell players to get that same feel aim for the net tape okay if you aim for the net tape it's gonna also gonna help you to hit down and then through so slice is not just oh, I'm going underneath the ball you lean into it, on contact point your strings are almost closed and then you knife. See if you can see it on these, I'm going down and through, down and through. Now that ball's knifing properly guys, there we go. Try that out, it's very advanced, it's not easy, but it's something coaches don't talk about because it's so hard, okay? Now if you look at me from behind, I'll give you my last little tip. Uh, that's gonna take your slice to the next level is you wanna stay sideways, okay? You don't wanna slice and open up like that. What's gonna happen is the ball will go up again and there's nothing on it. Please understand that slice is effective if it shoots through the court. So whatever you need to do to get that ball to shoot through will give you a good slice, okay? So make sure that you're staying sideways, chest stays to side, fence throughout the whole swing, push your left arm back. What you can do to also stay sideways is have a little bit of a karaoke step to stay sideways, okay? So yes, want it to look like this. The bad one. And again, sideways. There we go. So you want to stay sideways all the way through like that, guys. And that's five tips for you. It's going to improve your slice immediately. I can guarantee that. Um, I actually didn't tell you guys, but there was uh, 20 guys who subscribed to my channel last night and they woke up this morning with a bearish slice. It was crazy.